Alright, so today we're going to be uh, working in Splendor 2.79 and making a rocket model. We're not going to be using uh, 2.8 for reasons that I don't know how to use it. So the best way to teach you is uh, use it using a program that I know uh, how to use. And I would assume you could apply these models to 2.8. Or you could just download 2.79 because it does the same thing. Pretty much it just looks fancier. So, we're gonna be starting off with uh Oh you probably want the things in the box. Alright, so we got the little indicator in the bottom left, which shows what I am pressing. So if anybody gets lost they can easily see. Um, quick little tutorial on how to move the camera. Male mouse button, rotate. Shift to male mouse button, span. Right click is to select. The left click is your 3D cursor, that is the little thing. That is where stuff spawns from. See if I click it over there and then uh, make a plane, it's over there. But and then the period on the numpad is to recenter. Now, every time you start Blender, you get a cube. We're making a rocket, not a cube, so we don't need that. Delete it. Now, add a cylinder. Shift A, and then click cylinder. Now, usually, usually start with 32 vertices, change the vertices over to 8. We don't need that. So, we're going to be making a rocket. No reference image, just something that looks like a rocket. So. We want to click tab, go to edit mode. Now down here, down here, you usually start with this. The vertices select, and then you got the edge select and the face select. Let's do the face select. Now let's press 1 on the numpad, and then 5, and we get this view. Now I'm going to cl click G, and then Z, and we can drag it up like that. Now we're going to make something like an ICBM or something. So, all the way up here. And then... E to extrude. And S to scale. Now we got something like that. And we want to click Control R, and you get this little split thing that adds a new edge split around a point. And you can you can like you can just use the mouse button, you can use it, click to add it. You're going to add another one click again and then what we want to do we want to make sure this is separate from this so that we can do more work so click Z B and then drag then press P so you separate from selection and then boom you got that so we're going to hide that we're going to click H and it appears up here right there so this little symbol right there, that's where it is. So now what we're gonna do, we want some function to this. By function, I mean we want it solid. So we're gonna click this little wrench thing. This is the modifiers. We're gonna add a solidify modifier. Turn the thickness up to about that apply and then now click the edge select and so we want to add a bottom to this so these want to be a bottom also a is all select or no select so if you select something you just click a to deselect it so shift alt right click and then you got all those ones in the center selected. 
You could also do the slow way and do shift, right click, right click, right click, or just shift, alt, right click. And then click F to add a face. Then boom, you have, a little, you have an air stage right there. And then now, we want to add this, hide this part. So this, we're going to do the same thing, shift, alt, right click, F, and then extrude down, scale, and then we're going to make a little simple engine right here, so just pay attention to what I'm pressing down there, if you get lost. I'm just uh, changing the 3D cursor location. To get this menu, you click N and it's right here. I like my 3D cursor in the center, so I can add new objects if I wanted to. So now let's let's make the engine down here. So E scale. Now we want to add the fairing, so we're going to add another cylinder, and it should be about the same size, and we can just move it up. Let's move it up like that. And then get about right where you want it. Now, the buttons I'm pressing, so G is to grab, and Z, I don't think it shows it. But when you see it on the blue line, I'm pressing G and then Z. And that moves it right on the Z axis. You can also click G and then Y, moving the Y axis, and then G and then X. And S is the scale. And another one I haven't used yet, but that is R and that's to rotate. And you can do R, X, R, Y, and R, Z. And then E is the extrude, that's when I do something like this. And you know, like you can click extrude and then scale and then extrude again. But what we're gonna do, we're gonna make it a little fairin. So, and then this is where the, the edge splits come in. So, control R and then scale. And then control R again. Right click and then scale. And then this one we're going to go back to face mode. And then move down. So now we got our fairing, but as you can see, it's solid. We don't want it solid. So we are going to do a little fancy thing up here. So we're going to click K, right, or left click and then left click and then enter and then select all these so shift and right click is what I'm pressing. It doesn't show the shift thing right there but it's shift and right click. Separate from parent so we're going to delete that. So now we got a little fan right here but as you see it's paper thin. We are going to go add another solidify modifier. Turn the thickness up. 
and boom, we got ourselves a Farron. But we don't want the other side now, so we're going to we're gonna do that again. So Shift and D is to duplicate, and then right click to deselect it, and then change this to 3D cursor. Make sure your 3D cursor is in the center. If it isn't, press N, scroll down to 3D cursor, make sure it's all zero, zero, zero. And then R, Z, 180. And boom, you got a Farron. And as you can see, our little rocket is looking like a rocket. Now you're probably wondering, well, how do I color the rocket? Um, this is how. Well, this is how I do it. I do simple materials. So we're going to add just a white material. We're going to name it white. Add another one, white. Add another one, white. Add another one, white. And then click this little plus button, new, and then black and then click this one gray and then now we can do shift and right click but first uh, let's click the plus symbol again Make sure we have all our materials on this object. And then shift and right click and just kind of navigate the camera. It's a little finicky, but remember, uh, middle mouse button and shift to middle mouse button is your friend in this part. So I'm rotating and panning at the same time. And then on these, on parts like this, you can do shift alt right click and then now we select our gray and assign and boom you got that so now we want to uh, make the engine black so shift alt right click and just keep doing that right in the center and make sure you do it on the center because it, as you see it doesn't work right here it needs to be on the center of the line so it's shift alt right click I don't know why it doesn't show down there, but it's shift alt right click and then click the black and assign. And then we want to make a little stripes on the bottom, like kind of like the Saturn. So we're going to do another control R, kind of move it down. Do another control R and put it up here. And then Click this one, shift, right click, shift, right click, shift, right click. And you can do that for the top one as well. And then you got that. And then the inner stage, I'm going to do shift, alt, right click, make the inner stage gray. Just like so. What I'm going to do to easily move it out, so a lot of times I move it out instead of just simply hiding it. So you can do G, X, Control, and move it. So when you do the control, it snaps to the grid, so you can just easily move it back. So I'm going to get these materials back on. And then shift alt right click. Boom, we got that one colored. And then get the top bit colored. And then G, X, control. And you, you need to hold down the control when you snap to the grid. When, if you don't snap to the grid, it does, just does this. But if you snap to the grid, it you can easily get back to where you moved it from. And then, boom. We got ourselves a little simple rocket. 
And if you wanted fins on it, you can easily just go to add a cube and then move it a little bit. Scale it. So scale on the X, move on the Y, and then just select this, move it down, and select this, and just move it over. And then select the white. And then you want to click the 3D cursor, then Shift D to duplicate, right click to deselect, and then RZ90. And then Shift D and then RZ90, and then Shift D RZ90. And then boom, you got yourself a little rocket right here. So that's the end of the tutorial series, I, I guess.